Welcome, everybody. It's Captain's Corner. I'm your host, Brad Lawrence, along with Club Captain Kelly Miller. This is the August wrap-up edition. I got that right. I took the third try and I got it right. <laughs> we are talking about the August events, which are some great events happening in August. Kelly, you're going to start us off with the Lady Solheim Cup, and then we'll go on from there. Great. Thanks. So the Lady Solheim Cup was held on Tuesday, August 10th. Uh, Europe was victorious for the first time in a few years. And Brad, as I was saying to you, as I look back, I was on Team Canada this year, and that's the first time I've been on Team Canada in a few years. So I think there's a pattern that I'm not liking. So <laughs> we'll have to try and reverse that next year. Uh, the ladies' regular season of our Laura League has concluded, and uh, at least I can say I was on a winning team there. Uh, team, Pink, team Pink took first, uh, first place and uh, the overall participation prize. So go Pink! Uh, the playoffs are currently in progress and will be uh, finishing next Tuesday. Back to you. Beautiful. So for the men's section, we had the Brampton Open held in August 22nd. I think I get that wrong in the last video with Jeff. Yeah. But August 22nd, we had a nine-way tie for second place at 42 points, and Daniel Lomoski snuck up to 43 points to break that tie and give him the title of 2018 Brampton Open champion. Ooh. Our men's league is now into its playoffs. We're into week two, and there's already two teams eliminated. So there's three more weeks to go with the finals being held on men's closing, which we'll talk about in a minute. In our junior section, our senior junior tournament, which is always a big success, had Kent Glugosh and Kurt Rivers running away with the victory in that division. And our inner club team made it all the way to the championship round of the finals, but we're not going to mention scores for that one. We didn't fare as well as we hoped. That's too bad, but hey, at least we were there, and it seemed we, like we had really good participation at did. the inner club this year. We did very well. Great. So our last event, which uh, was held uh, this past weekend, um, actually over the last two weekends uh, of August and September, was our club championship event. Um, it was, uh, I, I'm very pleased to say that uh, fortunately the weather held out, um, although we did have um, a fog delay one day, which I don't think that's ever happened. Um, I've and never seen that in nine years working at a golf course, I've never seen a fog delay. Yes, uh, I understand that the participants couldn't see the 150 marker, so we had a little <laughs> bit of a, a delay there, but, uh, um, and we had a bit of a, a, bit of rain um, on a couple of the days, but on our final, final day, uh, fortunately the storm stayed, stayed south of us, which was, which which was awesome. Um, we had 120 golfer, golfers participate um, in the qualification on August 25th, um, and it was a great day, um, of, actually a great number of days and super amount of hard work by, by all of our staff, uh, from the pro shop to the grounds crew to um, our f &B group. Um, our general manager became our photographer for the day, so um, overall a great success. Um, and our overall club champion for the men was Dave Bunker, and for the women was Brooke Rivers. So congratulations to all our fans, our participants, and our champions for such great events. Yeah, it was an exciting weekend of golf for sure. So it's now, this is going to come out on middle, early September, which means closing events are coming up shortly. So this coming Sunday is the junior closing. It's a 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. shotgun. 2 p.m. for juniors, 4 p.m. for pre-juniors. If you're interested in playing, please contact us in the pro shop, and we'll definitely try to fit in some room for you. Uh, and, it's, and it's got an interesting format this year. The, the juniors get to choose a partner. The format is going to be six holes of best ball, six holes alternate shot, and six holes scramble. Um, and the pre-juniors are having a nine-hole scramble event. So, um, yeah, we, we encourage everyone to, to come out. Um, it's, you know, it's on September 9th, so sign up fast. Yep. Now, ladies, the closing's coming up too, right, Kelly? Yes, it is. That's actually going to be a 115 shotgun on September 15th. Um, it's a different format this year. It's going to be one gross and one net event. Um, the sign-up deadline for that is next Tuesday, September 11th. So uh, this is always a great event for the ladies, and uh, hopefully we'll see everyone come out to that. Beautiful. Um, the next closing is also um, going to be held on Saturday, September 22nd. It's a 115 shotgun. Uh, the Knicks conveners have a fun day planned, and they said they have an evening full of surprises. I saw that in the poster. It didn't say anything, <laughs> just said surprises. So we don't really know what's involved with that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be golfing in Ireland, so uh, I'm going to miss that event, but uh, I think it's an event you won't want to miss. Um, and if you're a single or a twosome, sign up, and the pro shop will match you up. And guests are encouraged and welcome. Uh, the format is two net best ball, one male and one female score per uh, per team. Or, so I actually said per hole. So might be a little bit of a different format. Anyway, uh, hope you'll come up to that. That's going to be an interesting event to watch yes. and to see how it plays out. 
our master's closing has been moved. It was originally September 14th. It's been moved back to the 21st. There's a little bit of a conflict of interest or conflict with some other tournaments going on. So it is a 9 a.m. shotgun. Master's opening was a great time. I'm sure master's closing will be just as much fun. I'm pretty sure they have rice pudding on the menu as always. So if anyone's concerned about that, I'm sure I'll be back on the menu. <laughs> our men's closing is happening on September 29th. It's a 115 shotgun. And it's a little bit of a twist this year. So along with men's closing, it's actually the final day of our Brampton Men's League, or Wednesday Men's League as well. So for those who are playing the Wednesday Men's League that still have a chance in the playoffs, make sure to sign up for Men's Closing as well, because it's all tied into one this year. So it's going to be a fun event. There'll be two tournaments going on. We will, for Men's Closing, I believe it's pick your own teams, but for the guys who played in the Men's League, we'll pair you up with another competition, so you're playing against your opponents that day. And you'll have some further details coming out yes. from uh, Jeff Duell, our club the men's captain. Absolutely. Shortly. There'll be a video of Jeff Duell, I'm sure, coming out in the next few weeks detailing all the details about that. Um, I think the last thing we were going to mention was you are going to give us a little bit of information about the Junior League. Oh yes, of course. So Mondays is our, for those who are interested in coming to play golf, who have our pre-junior member or junior member, please feel free to come out. It's Mondays at 5.30s. We play between 6 and 9 holes. It gets shorter as the days get darker earlier. So they come out, they play a four-person scramble or three-person scramble, depending on the kids we have in the groups. And they just go out there, have a good time. It's a great way to get them introduced to the, the golf course for some of the younger pre-juniors who don't play a lot. Get some more chance to play on the golf course, have some fun. Right. It's a little bit different. It's not, you know, your traditional, you got to hit play from the right tees. We play them from the 150 marker on some holes. Some holes with 200 mar yard marker. We just make it fun and interesting for them. And if you do have a grandchild or, grand grandchild or niece or nephew or child who would like to participate, Feel free to contact us in the pro shop and we'll see what you can do about getting them in as well. Perfect. That sounds great. Great. Um, now this is our episode about closing events and I haven't thought of a way to close out this video so I'm going to throw it all on Kelly here to close out the video for us. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, September is going to be another really busy month. Um, we'll probably do one last Captain's Corner in uh, October just to uh, uh, wrap up the whole year but uh, we hope you found these have been enjoyable and informative. Um, and uh, just wanted to say thanks very much to Brad for, for putting these together with me over the summer. Thank you. Um, it's been a lot of fun, <laughs> and we'll talk to you again in October.